Sarah, she's on a five year plan to get her competent communicator certificate. <laughs> <laughs> right behind you, Sherry. <laughs> Today she'll uh, complete speech number six in the manual. The speech title is The Various Emotions of Motherhood. Her speech objectives are to use voice, volume, pitch, rate, and quality to reflect and add meaning and interest to your message. Use pauses to enhance your message. And use local variety, no sorry, use vocal variety smoothly and naturally, just like I just did. Speech time is five to seven minutes. Please welcome Sherry. Yeah. 
The other most recent experience that we've had is with my teenage son. For those of you that have teenage boys, you'll relate. There's a smell emanating <laughs> out of his room. <laughs> <laughs> what is that smell? Oh my lord! Sam, this weekend you are washing everything that is in this room. If it can't go in the washing machine, then it needs to be wiped down and disinfected. And if that can't happen, it's in the trash. Do you understand me? I've had it. It's fine when you want it in your room, but when it starts emanating out into the hallway, it affects the rest of us. <laughs> When, you, when your children are doing something that you are not quite sure they should be doing. When my husband passed along the task on his honeydew list of mowing the lawn to my son, he was absolutely delighted. He just claimed three hours in the weekend back. I, on the other hand, was extremely, highly apprehensive. High speed spinning blades. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do I need to say more? I literally ran from window to window watching him as he mowed the yard. Is he wearing his safety glasses? Did he put his long pants on and his boots? Is that mower just a little bit too heavy for him to be pushing? Where the hell is my husband? He should be supervising this. And finally, there's sadness and a wee bit of anger. One day, a few years ago, in the spring, my son came home from school. I immediately knew that something was not right. We sat down and he poured out to me a story of bullying and teasing that was pure meanness. He was hurt, and I, as his mother, hurt too. We sat on the couch for a long time. I just held him as he sobbed. There's nothing a parent can say to take that hurt away. There are mean people in this world, and this won't be the last time that he will experience meanness. He went off after he worked through it, and I changed from sadness and hurt to primal, motherly anger. I plotted for hours the revenge I was going to take on this bully. Then my husband came home and shared with me that what I had plotted was totally out of bounds behavior for a grown woman. <laughs> what can I say? I know I have a lot of experiences ahead of me. Good, bad, who knows? Probably a little bit of everything. But the one thing I do know is that I can't imagine my life without my kids. 